Eyewitness News remembering Eunice Kennedy Shriver, founder of Special Olympics and advocate for the intellectually disabled. Let me give you a live look here at pictures from Shriver's Wake in Centerville. Thousands of people are paying their respects to a woman who fought for human rights. Shriver passed away early Tuesday morning at Cape Cod Hospital. She was 88 years old. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado joins us now live with more on the memorial and reaction from those who are mourning Shriver's death. Mike, the Kennedy family gathered for a private service in the church. It was followed by a public wake that's still going on at this hour, attended by everyone from dignitaries to Special Olympians. Very special woman. Just a tremendous accomplishment. She was born into privilege, yet Eunice Kennedy Shriver spent her life helping those who needed it most. We followed her work. We have a granddaughter who has special needs, and we are so grateful to all she's done. We think she was a dynamic woman. The line of mourners at Our Lady of Victory Church in Centerville started precisely at one and were met and signed by California Governor Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver, who comforted many. Because of Eunice Kennedy's tireless efforts to build, then grow the Special Olympics, many of them came to the church. Mrs. Shriver, you did a wonderful job for the Special Olympics, and we're going to keep on doing it in the memory of you. All of the Shrivers and several Kennedys greeted the public. Bobby Kennedy Jr. said his aunt stood out in a family of standouts. She completely had an absence of vanity, which was kind of a joke in our family because she didn't care what she was wearing, what she looked like, but she never did her hair. She just was, and nobody noticed because of the chaos that she brought with her everywhere. She was in constant motion, constant activity, and she was one of the greatest organizers of humanity that's ever lived. A private funeral will be held tomorrow. The vice president plans to attend, according to the White House. Live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex DiPrato, Eyewitness News.